Thank you so much. Well, several areas throughout central Indiana, as we've been talking about, have seen significant damage from last night's powerful storms here. Uh, seeing some of that right here behind us. One of the hardest hit areas was down in Johnson County in Whiteland. Yeah, that's where Fox 59's Hannah Fulman joins us now. Hannah actually has some updates with officials in the area. Hannah, they're really getting a good look at the damage now this morning. Good morning. We are learning new information. I'm actually joined here by Eric Funkhauser with the fire department and Stephanie with emergency management, and they're going to give us a little update on what the damage is looking like. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good. So tell me a little bit about what we have seen in terms of damage to the area so far. Yeah, um, we actually have extensive damage. So, um, you know, the, last night around 1115 when the uh, tornado hit, it started coming through the 135 area. It took a northwest track. It came through. It hit a neighborhood in Park Forest, worked its way across US 31, as you can see behind us here with the lines down. Um, we have multiple lines down between Whiteland Road and down to Paulham Boulevard um, in this area. And then it went through the neighborhoods over here. We probably have between 10 and 15 homes that are completely damaged right now and uh, unlivable, obviously. Um, we spent last night going through door to door through the neighborhood over there and, and making sure that nobody was home. We're very fortunate at this time. So far, we have had no injuries um, from any of this damage. And there's severe damage once you get past Whiteland High School. Um, the fire station took a direct hit last night. Um, the bunk rooms where the uh, the firefighters were staying took a complete hit and collapsed in on the on the fire station last night as well. Uh, fortunately, they were out of the station at that time. So everybody's still out kind of going through right now. And we're just now getting a chance now that the sun's coming up to get a, a good look at it. We've already done two um, searches overnight through most of the structures and, and we haven't found anybody thankfully. So uh, today now we're going to be working on going back through looking to make sure that you know nothing was left behind. Um, having the crews walk house to house and, and just the one thing that we want to make sure of is just that people are being careful. We're asking people not to come up into this area with the severe damage that we're seeing. Um, just to stay out of this area until we can do some debris management today and get it cleaned up and get some of the roads opened back up. That is a lot of great information. Stephanie, do you have anything to add? No, and if anyone wants to volunteer, they do not need them at this time because we are in the recovery phase right now. And do we have any idea on maybe when the roadways might open, when power might re restore? I know a lot of people are asking questions about that. Yeah, we think power is going to be out for quite a while. Um, in talking with REMC last night, they had 47 poles that have been damaged or taken out overnight here in Johnson County. So just in their area. So we have a feeling we're not going to get power back up anytime soon. Um, we'll try and put releases out today as we go forward and as we talk to REMC and to Duke Energy in this area just to kind of see. I know they talked about trying to bring some power back up later today, but they're just going to have to do it in certain areas once we realize that there's you know, not damage in that area, then they might be able to turn some of it back on. With us searching, with everybody getting out and trying to get through all of the damaged area, uh, we want to make sure that we're keeping the power off so that we don't have any problems with anybody. Well, thank you both for this incredible information. This, these updates are so important for our viewers and for the community, and we just appreciate all the hard work that you guys are doing here right now. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For more updates, you can visit our website at fox59.com, and we will continue to bring you the latest information there. For now, reporting live in Whiteland, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News. All righty, Hannah, thank you. Just to recap there, that is uh, quite a bit of new information we just got and, and pretty concerning. Uh, 10 to 15 homes down there are unlivable right now because yeah. they were hit by those storms. The good thing is no injuries, but uh, you heard Mr. Funkhauser there say with the fire department that their fire station was actually hit and the roof uh, collapsed yeah. in. On the bunkhouse. On, on the bunkhouse. Where the firefighters stay. Yeah. He mentioned luckily the firefighters were not in during that time, but that is yeah. some extensive damage in 40, 47 poles uh, that were snapped in this. And so they think it is going to be quite a while before we get uh, the power back on down there. So um, that just really shows you how